Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So uh, if you have the game on EA app, click on manage, click on view properties, and then click on open folder. This will take you to the game installation folder. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click, manage, browse local files. Now, once you go to the game installation folder, make a double click on FC26 and launch the game from here. If that does not work, Make a right click and then go to properties and then go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check still not working. You can go to properties once again. Put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. You can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply and then try launching the game using e anti cheat game service launcher make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check still not working the next step is to repair update or uninstall and reinstall e anti cheat for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to ea website and on this website scroll down here you can see ea javelin anti cheat installer click on it and then download this file and then run this exe file so click on it and then click on yes to allow now click on this drop down option and then select install fc26 and then click on repair click on ok and go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed in my case the game installed in c right program files in steam users go to program files x86 steam option then uh, steam apps option then common and then you will see the game folder ea games and then select the game ea sports fc26 and then click on select folder and let the repair complete once the repair you see install success now relaunch the game and then you can check still not working this time select fc26 and then click on update over here the update may take some time this will relaunch e anti cheat installer and then you will see update success option so here you can see update success now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can select FC26 once again and then click on uninstall. Once uninstall done, click on install. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. And then go to click on uninstall, make sure FC26 is selected and then click on uninstall. And do not click on install this time. Instead, launch the game from Steam or EA. And when you launch the game, during the launch, it will install EA anti cheat. So click on yes to allow and let the installation complete and then you can check. Let me close this for now. Uh, still not working. The next step is to rename FC setup file or settings folder. All the saved settings will be lost when you do so. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data if you don't see click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder local folder over here you will see esports fc26 open this folder here you can see fc setup make a right click and then you can click rename it and over here you will find fc setup folder rename it and you can also rename this settings folder now launch the game and then check still not working please ignore this because i closed the game in middle now still not working you can go back and then rename this complete ea sports fc26 file now when you do so uh, you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first so you can copy this folder and then paste it to the desktop in my case, I already have a backup. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can go back 
and then make a right click and then you can click on any game you have to start everything from scratch once you do so now launch the game and then check still not working the next way is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option i don't have the game on steam so i have added the game to steam so make a right click on the fc26 and go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check still not working you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working remove this and then go to ea app ea app users can click on manage over here go to view properties and in the advanced launch option type in dash dx11 click on save over here now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working remove this save it follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website select your graphic card over here your operating system and then click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver so you have to install the latest geforce game ready driver whichever is the latest click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file when you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not amd card users go do the same thing go to amd website select a graphic card install it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game and then select over here high performance you will see a graphic card now launch the game desktop users connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot next step is to make changes in exploit protection now for this you can type in exploit protection in windows search box and then click on exploit protection and then click on program settings over here and then click on add program to customize choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder select fc26 exe file click on add in my case i have already turned everything off so you have to put a check on override system settings and then if this is on turn it off do the same thing over here put a check turn it off again check off 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 if you see control flow guard if this is on turn it off data execution if this is on turn it off put a check and then turn everything off put a check on override and then turn off once everything is off now hit apply click on yes and then you can launch the game and then check now if you want to remove it in future you can always remove it and this will take the game to default now the next step is to if you are receiving this dix soft limited daemon tools you can follow the steps from this video i made a separate video all the links are provided in the video description if you are receiving auto hotkey error you can follow the steps from this video if you are receiving interception error follow the steps from this video if you are using if you are receiving virtual controller error you can follow the steps from this video you you, you have to uh, close or disable some application and then that should work next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not one bit different or McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then from Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection, scroll down at the bottom, click on manage ransomware protection, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add and allow app, browse all apps, and then select all the exe file over here. Add this EA anti cheat service launcher service launcher also and also open installer and then e anti cheat select this one and then click on open now do the same thing in windows firewall open control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then select all the exe files fc26 click on add in my case i have already added all the exe file again click on allow another app browse and then 
that again browse and then add this EA anti cheat game service launcher. Add in my case, I have already added again installer EA anti cheat. Select this, click on add. Once everything is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Now the next step is to run EA app update. Now for this, you can type in EA app in Windows search and then make a right click on EA app, click on open file location. E updater make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and let this complete. Uh, this will take some time. Now, once this is complete, uh, you have, this will close automatically and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to run EA app updater. So let this complete and then relaunch the game if that does not work run ea app updater run as administrator click on yes to allow and once this is done uh, this will actually relaunch e app and then you can check Now still not working and run this app recovery make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow you will see clear cache option so you have to click on clear cache yeah click on clear cache over here and this will relaunch e app and then check still not working repair e app to repair e app you can go to e website go to EA website and then you can download the EA app windows and then run this exe file and then once you run the exe file click on repair over here do not launch the app just click on repair click on yes to allow and let the repair complete once the repair is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install DirectX. Now for this, you can open this link in the browser. The link is provided in the video description. Click on download over here. And then run this exe file. If you click on yes to allow. And then you have to accept, uncheck, install Bing bar, next. And let the installation complete. Once this is complete, you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Run EA app or Steam as an administrator. If you have the game on Steam, you can close Steam and then type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam and then click on Run as administrator. If you have the game on EA app, first of all close EA app and then type in EA app in Windows search box and then make a right click and then click on Run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows. Now for this, you can go to Windows settings, go to Windows update. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart you can be After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next is to install Visual C file. You can open this link, scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64 file. You have to download both the files and then run the CXC file. If you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well and then run this x64. Again, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow, and let the installation complete. Once both the files are installed, let, let it install both the files, and then restart it in here. And then you can launch the game, and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound option over here hardware and sound and then click on power options now in my case i have only balance in your case if you see power saver select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected if you have any uh, like if you're using vpn turn it off or turn it on and check which one is working fine for you disable overlay 
Now for Steam users, you can go to Steam. I don't have the game on Steam, so I'll show you a different game. Make a right click on the game and then go to properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Now if this is already off, then you can turn it on and then check. So try both on and off and then check. If you have any other overlay application running, like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off overlay. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI after one revert unit. Remove the undervolt. If you have undervolted, you can be run. Next step is to create a new new uh, Windows user account. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to accounts, and then scroll down, click on other users, click on add account. And then click on I don't have this person sign in information. Click on it. And then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. You can name it whatever you want. Create a username and if you want a password, you can enter the password. If you don't want it, just click on next. And once the new account is created, now click on change account type over here and select administrator over here and then click on OK. Now you can log out and then you can log in and log into the new account which you've created and then you have to install the game and then you can launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So uninstall the game and if the game is installed to D drive or E drive before, then you can try to install the game to C drive. Uh, try to install the game to C drive. Now, if the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.